Hello everyone, what's going on? Here they have the brand new 2024 Nissan Aria Platinum. It's got this nice dark blue exterior. You have also the black color on the wheel arches, black colored mirrors. These are your wheels. It's very uniquely designed as well. You have a black colored bumper with your rear sensors. It is a E4, so it is probably a four wheel drive. Just gonna go around so I don't. Uh, blind spot detection system. You also have here your turn signal indicators. You have your uh, charging. But all right. Also, you get an illuminated Nissan label right there on the front with your LED accents on the lights. Let's go and check it out. Get smart key by the touch sensor. It's a dark blue exterior. It has like a, a blue interior. I don't know if it's actually blue or not. All right. You actually got this thing working. But anyways, here's your interior. Steering wheel is leather wrapped. You have all your audio controls. You have your other controls as well. You have your, you also have your pro pilot feature, cruise control, front radar sense. You also have your voice commands. It is a two spoke design steering wheel. Perforations are off on the sides. You also have a silver accenting right here down below. You have your power button. Your electronic parking brake is right here. Right over here is your display screen. This is also another display screen. You have your visual assist. So if you take your eyes off the road, it'll alert you. All right. Right over here is your navigation screen. Right over here, you have uh, all your destinations. Now it's warm. You could also do like FM list. Um, you could go through, look for what you're looking for. Pretty cool. You also have here your climate control as well. You have your temperatures, automatic recirculation, fan speeds, and all your other controls. This is your hazards, your back and forth. Let me just turn off the radio so I don't get copyright. I don't I I don't know why YouTube has I'm <laughs> just kidding, I'm not gonna ask that question. But anyways, um, you do have a navigation system as well. But look at this navigation system. This thing is quite interesting. Right right here, you click on these, I don't know what these do. But anyways, you also have illumination down below there. Um, you also have here your uh, a USB and USB-C input, power outlet, lower storage. I believe you have other storage. Right right here, you also have your adjustable center console. You can adjust it to the comfort level you want it. Your transmission, cup holders, also adjustable spring tensioners. You also have this bronze accenting that goes right here all the way through and you also have it right here right over here you have your automatic parking feature e-step you have your driving modes and this right over here you also have your wireless phone charger and if you're asking what this is check it out check that out you also get a, a little storage tray pretty dandy right over here you have your digital rear view mirror. Sunglasses storage. Okay. You have your interior lights, garage home link, all your controls for the panoramic glass roof, SOS safety connect. All right. This is actually quite nice. You also have here illumination right there. You also have your driver's seat memory one and two, your Bose audio system, power windows, locks and mirrors. You have storage with a bottle holder. You have your headlight adjustments, your steering, eye sense, auto hold. You also have your charging time as well as your power tailgate. But all right, let's go ahead and pop the hood. Check out what's underneath the hood. If you wanna check it out or, yeah, y'all can check it out. 
I'm going to, uh... All right, under the hood of the uh, Aria is a 290 kilowatt um, asynchronous, AC, uh, synchronous AC battery. Pretty, pretty darn cool. Very nice. Huh? I know. It's the, I was just saying like the battery type, but. All right. I'm not sure, but. Oh, excuse me. Oh, bad. Um, I was just about to go inside, maybe show more features and go over the okay. interior. Power adjustments on the driver's seat with your lumbar support. You have the illuminated Aria door plate, your E4. So I'm assuming it's a four wheel drive. You also have like this uh, brushed wood accenting right here. Ignore those warning lights. Those are not existent. Um, interior building materials in the Aria. You have soft touch on the upper door panel. You have a suede insert right here on the mid door panel. This portion's hard, but this is a soft touch material on the armrest. Dashboard right here is suede. It goes through there. The back is plastic. You also have this that goes right here through the middle. Let's go and show off the exterior lights and the hazards. We're gonna make it quick, but all right. You have your LED tail lights, LED turn signals. I have no clue where the reverse lights are, but LED headlights. LED turn signals with LED fog lights. My bad. Oh, can you turn off the headlights? It's the it's the stock right there next to the steering wheel. The headlights. All right, let's go and check out the back seat, shall we? Rear smart key access system. The E Force as well as the Aria logo in the back. I remember I tried to do a video on an Aria, but unfortunately it got copyright because of background music. Rear heated seats. You also have more of that accenting in the back. Two set of air vents. Armrest and cup holders. Interior lights. Rear power window controls. You also have more of that thing, but it's not illuminated in the back. Let me just go ahead and turn off the hazards. I wanted to be nice to the elderly gentleman. All right. Oh no. <laughs> what? What the heck? Why is it not opening? Oh yeah. Got you now. I wonder why the tailgate's not opening. That's weird. Because it's powered up. It's a security feature. Oh. So if you power it down, yeah. it'll open. Yeah, please. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's a safety feature. Like, if it's powered on, it's going to uh, actually disable. So it's a security feature. Right over here, you have your Bose amplifier and some storage. Spare all your equipment for the, for the tire. Your illumination. You also have a cargo cover. This is actually quite nice. You also have a, uh, this right here to close it. You also can hit this button right here to close the trunk. You have your backup camera. Honestly, not bad. Oh, watch out. Watch out. Everything's carried through. You pull this to pull the seats. Oh, excuse me. Can I check it out? For like real quick. But anyways, you have a power passenger seat as well. You have your glove box. Not bad. You also have the memory seat settings for the passenger side as well. Well guys, that will wrap up the tour on the 2024 
Nissan Aria Platinum E-Force. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more. And thank you for watching.